This is Mr. White. He is visiting wounded soldiers that are ready to head home. And while he's there, he also has time to remember his own past. I got uh, injured in Iraq, and coincidentally, uh, I got medevaced out, and I actually came here to Ramstein. I was actually one of the first groups of the injured, so Ramstein and Lonstrol is very near and dear to my heart. Mr. White is a retired gunnery sergeant, and he's taking time to return an old favor. But I do remember a group of Marines that were on embassy duty paying us uh, jarheads a visit when we were healing up. And um, to this day, I'm still very indebted to that group. My, my heart's just going to go out to them. Um, I got a little piece or a little taste of uh, the journey they're going to have to go through as far as recovering emotionally and physically from it. And, uh, you know, if we could provide just a little piece of home or a little piece of comfort or just saying, hey, you know, I've been there too and there's light at the end of the tunnel. Mr. White's visit may be just a passing memory for these wounded warriors, but the time will stay in his thoughts far into the future. It certainly will be an experience I never forget. Essentially, everybody on that plane is uh, an American hero, in my opinion. Reporting for Ramstein Air Base, I'm Airman First Class, Nicholas Christ.